Hi folks, Scott Kelby here with more Photoshop Buried Treasure and this time we're going under the file menu to scripts and going to image processor. This is actually way cooler than it sounds. It allows you to take a whole folder of images, any format you want, raw images, whatever, and convert them into multiple other file formats automatically and do more cool stuff than that. So let's take a look and once you see it, it's actually pretty cool. So let's choose image processor brings up this window that looks complicated but it's really simple. Step number one, it even has a little one up here. Choose the folder you want to work on. I already chose it. It's a folder full of TIFF images on my desktop. Number two, when you do stuff to this folder of TIFF images, do you want them saved in the same location, right? Or do you want to save them someplace else? Just put them in a different folder. If you do, go to select your folder. I'll put them in a folder I named JPEGs because I I want to save them as JPEGs. Now, here's what's kind of interesting. Number three, you can say, all right, I have a folder full of TIFFs, and I want to save them as JPEGs and as PSDs and as TIFFs. You can choose whatever you want. I'm just going to save them as JPEGs. You can save them as the quality of whatever. You can convert your profile to sRGB if you know you're going to either send them to a photo lab or you're going to post them on the web, either one of those. Uh, provided most most photo labs seem to like sRGB, but it depends you know, on your particular photo lab. You can choose to resize them if you want them to all be a certain width or certain height. You can turn on that. So that's what that's for. You can save. So imagine opening the images. You open them up and you save them as a JPEG and a PSD and as a TIFF. It puts them in their own separate folders. It's very neat and tidy. At the bottom, you have a optional preference. You could run an action on them. For example, I could run an action that adds contrast to the images. So this is a Photoshop action I've already created. And I could choose any of the ones, the ones that I've created, but I chose this one called Add Contrast. It's not the fastest action I have, but it will run it. And then you could embed your copyright information as you go. If you're like sending these to somebody else, you could just go, you know, copyright. Whoops, that's not copyright. Uh, you know, Scott Kelby 2017. Or you could accidentally hit your brightness button on as well. Okay. And if you want to include an IC, ICC profile in it, you can. Okay. Now, you hit run and it just does its thing. You hit run and it opens images and it kind of gets it going. And it, in this case, I, I chose kind of a slow filter, the slowest filter probably in, in Photoshop surface blur, but it's just doing its thing. It's going to open the filter. It's going to open the image. It's going to run the action. It's going to save it in JPEG. And I won't make you sit through the whole lot nine things through, through the magic of video. We'll get through the, there's like 12 images run number three. So we'll, just jump ahead. And here's the 12th image. And we're done. And if I were to go look in the folder where I said to save them, there's a little folder called JPEG. And there they all are. They've not only been saved as JPEG, but they have also all had that action run on them as well. If I had chosen TIFFs too, there would be TIFFs there. If I had chosen PSDs, there would be three nice, tiny little folders. Well, there you go. Just another bit of Photoshop buried treasure. Hey, uh, if you earned a Lightroom, and you probably are if you're using Photoshop and you're reading my blog there, uh, if you're into Photoshop, or excuse me, if you're in a Lightroom, duh, go over to lightroomkillertips.com. It's a daily blog that I write, and I share all kinds of Lightroom stuff there like four or five times a week, you know, depending on how busy I am. But uh, anyway, I invite you to go check it out, and also go check out Kelby1.com slash Lightroom, because I have a 
about 50 online full-length courses on every Lightroom topic you can imagine. And you can start watching them right now because you can take the 10-day free trial and just watch a whole bunch of classes. Well, there you go. Thanks, everybody, and we'll catch you next time.